Does anyone here know the formula for enjoying life? Enjoying life to its fullest. Does anyone know the formula? Does anyone guess what formula it might be to enjoy life and enjoy life to the fullest? Any ideas, any thoughts on that? Uh, is anyone awake? <laughs> Can I? Pardon me? Okay, listen to his words and obey his commands. That's a good one. But for all of us to enjoy life, enjoy life to the fullest, what is the basic, simple formula to enjoy life? Well, love, joy, well, it's all those things, no question about it. But it's this right here. Let's take a look. Live in the now. Live in the moment. Live right now. You know, when you spend time focusing on the past, you might know some folks who live in a past. They'll spend time saying, too bad I didn't do this. Too bad I didn't do that. I should not have did this. I should not have did that. And instead of enjoying the now and the moment, their mind is focused on the past. Then you got people who are always worried about the future. Instead of enjoying right now, right today, they're worried about an hour from now, they're worried about tomorrow, they're worried about next week, they're worried about a year from now. And when you think about the past and your mind's stuck in the future, you never enjoy the current moment because you're just not living life. You're living life from the viewpoint of the past or the viewpoint of the future instead of just, just living in and out. What a simple formula for enjoying life and then enjoying life to the fullest, live in and out. And that turns out to be the key point of today's gospel reading coming out of the 17th chapter of Matthew, verses 1 and 9. Let's take a look at verse 1 of the 17th chapter of Matthew. It says there in that verse, Jesus took Peter, James, and John, his brother, and he lit them up on high mountain by themselves. Now, what does that mean? First of all, it means exactly what it says it means. The four of them went up on this mountain. But what's implied there? That Jesus said to himself, I want to spend time with some of my disciples. I, I don't want to spend time with all 12 at one time. I'll break them down into small segments. I'm going to go with Peter, James, and John. And then it also implies that when Jesus went to Peter, James, and his brother John and said, fellas, would you like to hang out and go up in this mountain today? Clearly they said what? Yes. They could have said what? They, they could have said what so many people say nowadays. I, I can't, Jesus. We're fishermen. We're busy. We have a lot of stuff to do. We can't drop everything we're doing and go up in that mountain with you today. We've been on a mountain before, but they've never been on a mountain before with Jesus. So Peter, James, and John said yes to the invitation. They went up on that mountain, and, and Peter did what? Peter enjoyed the time they spent on that mountain. How do I know he enjoyed the time they spent on that mountain together? Because I read the rest of the gospel reading. And verse 4 is going to tell me just how much Peter enjoyed the time they spent on that mountain, enjoying the now, enjoying the moment. Went up on a mountain. Peter never brought up what's going to happen tomorrow. He never brought up the future. He enjoyed the moment, the now. Let's take a look at verse 4 of the 17th chapter of Matthew. Take a look at this. Then Peter said to Jesus in reply, Lord, it is good that we are here. He is enjoying himself at the time it's occurring. Not, not five late, years later in retrospect. How often we enjoy something in life after it is over, but we never enjoyed it while it was occurring. So there it is. Lord, it is good that we are here. And then Peter said this, if you wish, I will make three tents here. One for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. What he's talking about there? He's kind of referring to a Kodak moment. What Peter wants to do is make three memorials, three monuments. What Peter is saying, if, if I build these three monuments, one to you, one to Moses, one to Elijah, Years from now, when I ascend that mountain, I see those monuments, I'm going to remember about the time I spent hanging out with you, Jesus, and James and John, when we were together. He wants to remember that time for years. You see, Peter was right. Peter had no idea if the future was going to be better or worse, but he knew that I have to enjoy the now. You see, Peter's right. This is chapter 17. By chapter 20, compositionally in Matthew's Gospel reading, Jesus begins walking his road to Calvary, and Peter denies him. You see, Peter's right. This is chapter 17 of Matthew. By chapter 22, compositionally, five months and about one day later, Jesus goes through the process of crucifixion, and Peter denies his friend three times. The same Peter. 
You see, Peter was right. Peter had no idea if the future was going to be better or if the future was going to be worse. All Peter knew was what? I'm going to enjoy the moment. Right now, it is good with you, Jesus, James, and John. So I'm going to celebrate the now. I'm not going to worry about tomorrow. I'm not going to think about yesterday. I'm going just to celebrate the now. It's a simple formula for enjoying life and enjoying life to the fullest. So let's fortify what I've been saying by watching this little video about a little boy who understood how important it is to enjoy the moment. enjoy the moment. See, the little boy wasn't saying to himself after he went through that puddle, uh-oh, what happens when I return home with wet shoes and socks? That wasn't on his mind. The little boy wasn't worried about what's up ahead on that road. He wanted to enjoy what's on the road and what's in the road. That's how you enjoy life. You know, we allow ourselves to be wrapped up in being busy, which means we can never enjoy really life the way we should enjoy life. Just to stop, you see something that's exciting, you see something that's beautiful, and you look at it. You know, the other morning when it snowed that, and I'm sure mo hopefully a lot of you did, but boy, what a great morning that was just to walk out of your house, and especially if you have some woods behind your home, and just to look. That, that was God's gift of beauty to you. And I'll, sometimes we get tired of winter, but boy, that, that was a beautiful sight. If you're traveling to work and just going down a highway, just say, I gotta put my blinkers on, get off to the side of the road. I just have to smell this and look at it and just suck it in. Because it snows a lot, but never like that. It doesn't land on the trees like that all the time. The temperature was just right for that. How do you enjoy life? And how do you enjoy life to the fullest? And I think the message of the gospel was pretty clear. Peter, James, and John, and Jesus went up in a mountain, and they enjoyed themselves at the time it was occurring, not five years later in retrospect. If you want to enjoy your life, and you want to enjoy your life to the fullest, there's only one way to do it. Live in the now, the moment, the present. 